Hello guys, welcome back to our Honest Talks and today's episode is about self-esteem. Uh, we have Honest Talks available on YouTube and other platforms that you can find all the podcasts on, but it is much a bigger support if you watch on YouTube, so I want to thank to everyone who does that. And today we, like I said, are talking about self-esteem and I posted a photo on Instagram um, talking about this subject um, I already thought about making a podcast episode about it and I just never really knew exactly what to say because I wasn't really doing anything to improve mine so I thought well I shouldn't really be talking about how to help others if I can't really help myself <laughs> so today I will be sharing what is that helped me and being confident in showing my face without makeup and uh, just be confident without having to rely on changing my appearance if that makes sense of course that we always want to look better and I'm not saying that you should like like yourself without the things that make you like I like to dye my hair and it's not that I don't like myself without dyeing my hair it's just something fun that I like to do and it helps me to represent how I want to portray like my personality and it helps me feel more like myself so that is also very important is that you sometimes people have um a really funky um way of dressing you know they they have many accessories they have clothes that are just like many layers and it just feels like it was well thought through and it's just not that like they grab something and just dress that is like they knew exactly what they wanted to dress and they match it up and everything and you're like wow they would look totally different like you wouldn't recognize them without all those things and they probably like don't feel good about themselves but that is not really the case i don't think because when you are dressing up in a way or uh, dyeing your hair or sometimes makeup makeup doesn't always have to be about being insecure it's about also being able to express your creativity it's just a fine line on where uh, you depend on it and is just a way of expressing yourself so it is hard to figure it out like going from one to the other because with clothes I was not really dependent on um, I never really had the chance to have many many options of outfits anyways so I was like okay well then I don't really care but with makeup I always felt like it's your face so people will always look at your face first and you need to always be the best possible um, version of yourself but the thing about wearing makeup all the time is that when you don't people think you'll look sick people ask if you're okay and I'm sure you've met people that they always have um, a lot of makeup like they always in full glam and when you actually meet them without all of that it's really hard to like I don't know it's not that it's bad or is good it just is really hard to wrap your mind around it it's like they, cho they look like a totally different person but they're the same person without makeup but you're not used to seeing them without makeup and it's not that you have to stop wearing makeup just because others are not used to uh, seeing you without makeup but it is about being okay with being in public without having to have like a full glam and I know this like I said it's like a fine line because I also like to wear makeup and experiment and I or most of the times I do my makeup when I go to work because I get to wake up a bit later than I would for most jobs so I do have some time to do that 
but like for example on my day off I just want to relax so I don't do my makeup or anything like that but when I was younger I would do my makeup even if it meant that I would be late for school I would do my makeup because I just couldn't like I would literally be I would feel miserable for the rest of the day if I had to go out with my bare face and that is so stupid but it's so real and it just <laughs> it takes time for you to accept but I think in that specific case if you're trying to not be so dependent on makeup I think the best thing is really to see yourself more and more without it like when you're at home most likely you are without makeup but I think like if you're not going out don't wear makeup I think that's the first step and then the second step is not wearing makeup uh, unless you are going to something that you feel like it's more glam more important that you would like to dress up for and you have to like get yourself comfortable in all of these scenarios until you actually start to feel confident in just having your bare face without makeup you just have to step out of your control um, what is it comfort zone <laughs> so it is it takes time and all of this about self-esteem if makeup or body or anything related i think the best thing is to first push yourself out of your comfort zone it's not like self-esteem will just come to you and one day you'll be like i'm a bad bitch like i can do everything it will not be like that you will have to force yourself to be like that and at some point you will actually be like that <laughs> isn't that crazy but yeah it took me some time to realize that i because i thought oh no if i if i just look like this i know i would be happy with my fa uh, my face or my body and whatever it is but it's not like that at all it's not because you had a different appearance that you'd be happy with your face because many people they are beautiful to society standards and to our own standards but they themselves don't think that they look at themselves in the mirror and they don't see what we see and just we have to realize that if those people that we think are beautiful if they think like that then why is it that we cannot accept that ourselves maybe it's the same way like we see ourselves in a different way that everyone else does because i think i'm sorry i have allergy and my nose is like sniffing crazy <laughs> it's just like literally water dropping from my nose <laughs> sorry about the sounds but what i mean is that for example me I always thought no I see myself in a realistic way like this is how everyone else sees me and they also just think I'm horrible and like nobody will look at me and think oh I'm, I'm pretty because it also has to do with the fact that when when you're growing up you see that people in your class they make fun of your appearance and stuff like that you start to believe it you start to believe the bad stuff they the, the people tell you but it's really hard to believe in the good stuff that people tell you like if someone tells you you're beautiful it's much harder for you to believe than someone else come to you and say that you're ugly like if five people told you you're beautiful it would take you a harder time to believe that more than it would just take for you to believe in one single person that told you you're ugly so it is about that it is about just realizing that maybe the way you see yourself is not how other people see yourself like you may look at someone and you may think they're unattractive but for some point for some people that person is really attractive but not for you and it is about that you will not be attractive to everyone like even the people that we think are attractive like Megan Fox like she is really pretty but it's not like me I would have an attraction for her just because of I don't know like how we are as 
as people like it's not like all of us find the same people attractive so we just have to take it out of our own head and be like nobody will ever like me because that's not true and some people will find you attractive but no one ever like will be attracted to the whole world so you don't have to make it your personal mission to just feel like you're more attractive to the whole world because that's not something you can accomplish at all so just focus on feeling good in your own skin and the confidence that you have will make people feel attracted to you and i'm not lying when i say this is true and deep down everyone knows this when you're confident in your own skin that is so attractive you just like it's your like aura like you are confident and that makes people feel good because it's like you're not scared in you know who you are and people even if it's just for friendships people they want that they want to have someone by their side that they feel like they got this you know they're confident they know what they're worth and you can be that person too you can be that person too you just have to work on it and it takes a long long time but it, it can happen and sometimes you have to tell yourself in the mirror not sometimes i think this is like the first step that you look yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself that you're beautiful you look at your body rolls you look at your belly you look at your legs and you tell yourself that you're beautiful just the way you are and you think to yourself that you're saying that but you don't believe it but if you keep saying it maybe one day you will so you just kind of have to lie to yourself until one point you will actually believe it i'm sure people on tiktok they've heard this audio like about the food fetish like mm, feed as a joke and that is the same concept in a way that if you joke about something or if you just keep telling yourself something at some point you will actually believe it so you just have to train yourself to believe in something and it takes forever but you will get there like i've always felt really self-conscious about body hair um but i just cannot be shaving all the time and i realized that it was just being a toll on my mental health as well the fact that i was having uh, cuts on my legs and you know everywhere the hair grows it grows back super fast and it was just i was just spending so much time shaving for what you know for what i didn't want i it's not like of course i feel better shave because that's what they make us um believe that we look better when we shave but just look at men we accept they have hair and it doesn't make them less attractive so why do we look at women and think they are less attractive with hair it's like all about the social construction that they build in our heads so we just kind of have to force ourselves into accepting it and at some point it'll just maybe hopefully be on the same page because the double standards are just horrible and it's impossible to for a woman because men actually think that women well maybe they know that women have body hair but they don't think that women have that much but some women have as much body hair as men and i see on tiktok once again um sometimes that when women post videos of showing their legs with hair men are like whoa you have as much hair as a man like that's crazy you know and they they mean it not in a compliment or just exclamation they mean it in a bad way and people will take it in a bad way because that's how you're saying it so we just have to learn like maybe you wear jeans that show your ankles and you have hair on your ankles and oh no okay and that's fine so you just kind of go from there and then maybe you have jeans that have holes and you don't shave <laughs> around those holes in your jeans just because you don't want people to see that you have hair so you just shave on the little circle 
that you can see your skin. So it starts from there and at some point hopefully you can go to the beach and you have your hairy legs and you're in your one piece or on your bikini and you can accept yourself. It takes time and is a process. You don't have to jump from one to the other. So you just have to go slowly, slowly build your confidence in accepting the way you look. It's the same about not wearing bras. People say all the time that women with big titties cannot uh, not wear bras. So we have to have bras because if they have big titties, like that's impossible. They just hurt all the time. And that is not true. They make us depend on something, and but it's not true. I always felt really bad when I didn't have a bra because I it would hurt, like physically hurt. And obviously women have uh, been saying the same. But the thing is when I stopped wearing bras, it took some time, I'm not gonna lie, it's not from one day for the other, but it took like a month or two. And honest to God, I could run and it wouldn't hurt my boobs at all. And when I would be in school, I, in PE, I would have to wear two bras for them not to hurt. But now, I it feels like they build strength. Like I don't wear a bra at all, at all. I, don't, I came here to the UK and I didn't bring any with me. And I could honestly not wear a bra while running and it wouldn't hurt. So it's just about questioning all those things that we take as truth and we never question them, but maybe they're wrong. And you think, oh, but I don't want people to see my nipples, but that's okay. You don't have to go from not wearing a bra to just ha uh, wearing see-through shirts. You can start by wearing a top underneath your t-shirt and you can go from there, you know? That's what I did. I just stopped, I stopped wearing a bra, but I would use layers of clothes so that people wouldn't see my nipples because I wasn't comfortable with that. So it takes time and now I'm to the point that obviously I'm not wearing see-through shirts yet. It takes a lot of time to build that confidence. <laughs> but I can wear a t-shirt and I'm not afraid if someone can see the outlines of my nipples because women have nipples. Oh my God! <laughs> So it takes time and as long as you don't give up and you keep going, you will make it. I swear you will have confidence in yourself and you will love yourself because you're an amazing person. And I know sometimes it's hard to believe that we are. It's not also about like having a super ego, um, but it's about feeling confident in your own skin and you can do it. It takes time no matter what it is that is making you insecure, just slowly try to feel more confident about your body the way that it is. Because you don't have to change, but you can change if you want. But I think it's more important that first you try to build confidence in who you are. And if you still wanna change something about yourself, then you can, like, I don't know changing your hair color, losing weight, I don't know. But I think it's before you need to love yourself and then you can f go from there and feel like, oh, I think I would like to work on this or that. So I love you guys. And I hope that in any way this helped. If not, to let you know about the stuff that I've come across that at least it confirms some of your beliefs. Um, if it makes you feel better in any sort of way, that's already a win for me. And I wanna thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos. I really, really appreciate it. And please leave a comment in about your journey on self-love and building your self-esteem. I really like to talk to you guys, so please leave a comment and like this video so that it goes to more people and subscribe if you enjoy this content and we'll see you in the next one bye